Hello, I'm Liz Zorab and this is By The Farm. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make apple cider vinegar, just from apple scraps. It's apple season and uh, my superb neighbors uh, have allowed me to go around and collect as many windfalls as I like. These apples are fantastic. Uh, we absolutely filled the freezer uh, with stewed apple. Uh, I made apple sauce uh, for the larder and I also made apple cider vinegar. And that's what I'm gonna show you how to do today. So I've collected my windfalls. Uh, I've actually got just over 20 pounds of windfalls. Uh, there's about five or six pounds of them here at the moment. Uh, and all I'm doing is uh, I'm washed them. Now I gave them a thorough wash uh, in cold water uh, to wash any dirt off them because uh, these ones that fell onto the floor and then I'm just cutting I'm cutting in straight lines around the core uh, so I end up with a square but well, almost a square uh, uh, a core and the core uh, I'm keeping uh, and then all of this I'm checking over any bits that have got uh, coddling moth in them or are bruised and uh, are going into the bucket for the compost heap. If you're outside the UK uh, you can feed all these peelings to your chickens um, but here in the UK uh, nothing that's been in your kitchen can go to your chickens. So for me I put all the bruised bits and the bits with coddling moth uh, damage uh, onto the compost heap. And then uh, all the pieces that I've cut up are going into a pan uh, with water and a little bit of lemon juice in it to stop these discolouring and in a little while I'll make these into uh, apple sauce and uh, stewed apple for crumbles. So I'm just going to whiz through all of the apples uh, so we have plenty of cores to use. If you prefer uh, your stewed apples and your apple sauce uh, without apple peel then you can peel your apples uh, and all the peelings can go in. I like to leave the skins on because I think they add extra flavour uh, and certainly colour and definitely uh, add some fibre. And when you've got your container uh, with your apple cores uh, and peelings, and any other scrap bits that you've got from your apples. So uh, some of these are bits that were too small uh, for my cooking purposes uh, for this particular project. So uh, to get those, uh, you need to put them into a container. Because I process an awful lot of apples uh, at this time of year, I'll be making these in a bucket, uh, but for now I've got a jar to show you how to do it. So pop your scraps uh, into your jar. So about three quarters filled. In a jug, measure out some warm water and uh, put one tablespoon of sugar uh, for every cup of water. Uh, stir the sugar in until it dissolves and then pour it uh, over your apples. Cover the jar loosely uh, with a piece of a muslin cloth or a fabric scrap uh, or even a coffee filter would work uh, and hold it on with an elastic band and then put it into a warm dark place uh, for about two to three weeks. I've put mine uh, in my disused oven. Uh, there's no mistake it won't get put on because that oven actually doesn't work uh, but it's warm and it's dark uh, so that's a good place for it to sit. Now you may want to check on it every few days because uh, it may get a scum on the top of it which you can choose to remove or not, uh, that's up to you. Uh, I don't, I leave it as it is uh, and after two to three weeks uh, it should have a slightly sweet vinegary smell and at that point you can remove all the apple scraps from the jar, put the covering back on uh, and leave it for another at least uh, three or four weeks. Now 
as I said, I make my apple cider vinegar in large containers. So I use a five gallon plastic drum and use quite a large piece of material over the top, uh, which I hold on with baling twine uh, because we don't have elastic bands big enough. Uh, but I want to show you uh, the colour of the apple cider vinegar I've made last year. Isn't that nice? Doesn't that look good? It smells fantastic. And I store it uh, in these big containers and I use it throughout the year. Now you may find uh, that your vinegar has uh, grown its own life form. Uh, it looks like a sort of gelatinous, uh, slimy thing. Thing. This is in fact a very good thing. Uh, this is effectively a mother and you can use this uh, in your next batch of apple cider vinegar uh, to speed up the whole process. So when I make mine uh, in the bucket today, uh, I will be adding this in uh, with a little bit uh, of the vinegar from last year into that water and that should get it uh, turning into vinegar even faster. Well, I hope you found that useful uh, and if you do decide to make some vinegar, please do come back, leave a comment uh, and let me know that you've given it a go. Well, that's it for me today. I need to get the rest uh, of these apple cores and peelings uh, and all the rest of the apples prepared. Uh, and so, wherever you are in the world and whatever you've got planned for today, I hope it's a good one. And I also hope you'll join me again tomorrow. Thank you.